So hello, welcome back to David Herkes Flight Sims. I recently upgraded my video driver's NVIDIA driver to, uh, as we can see, 37557. So it's the 375 series on the NVIDIA 980 graphics card. And recently got 60 frames per second flying the NGX PMDG NGX 737 into Innsbruck, which is Orbix Innsbruck. Which I thought was uh, exceptional. Never seen 60 frames per second in smooth flight before. You can watch that video shortly. So I just thought I'd share with you what my settings are. Pretty standard settings as you can see, but you can have a look. Application controlled anisotropic filtering, FXAA is off, gammas on, application control for the mode, transparency is off, CUDA GPUs all on. That is global setting. Maximum pre-rendered frames use the 3D application setting. Multi-frame is off. Use a 3D application setting for pre-rendered frames as we just said. Multi-frame. MFAA is off. Multiple display performance mode because I'm using two monitors. You could set that to just single monitor if you're on a single monitor. Shader cache is on. Anisotrophic texture filtering off, load bias allow, texture filtering high quality, trilinear is on, threaded optimization auto, triple buffering off and use the 3D setting for vertical sync and pre-rendered frames. <laughs> and the only other thing that uh, I did after installing the latest NVIDIA driver quite important this one go to application data local Lockheed Martin prepare 3d folder shaders delete all your shaders in fact delete the entire folder that's what I did and these new shaders are the new uh, are from the new driver apart from that I run some diagnostic tools, malware bytes, uh, CC cleaner, just to clean the register, make sure that the remnants of the previous driver have gone, although the new NVIDIA setup does clean this for you. And uh, that's pretty much it. And just to prove that the 60 frames per second wasn't a fluke, we'll try it in the A to A. Comanche. Again we're at Innsbruck. See we've got 65 frames per second top left, 70 frames per second. So 60 to 70 frames per second. Just take a circuit to the left. Terrain ahead, terrain ahead. Super smooth. 63 frames per second top left and it's still smooth. This is the old Innsbruck Orbix before we get the new version but nevertheless uh, quite detailed. Still showing 60 frames per second top left. Down. Clouds are by uh, Rex Soft Clouds Texture Direct, FS Global Real World Weather supplying the weather. 70 frames per second is the average. A little bit of um, 
texture loading there but it's still super smooth which is the main thing with flight simulator I keep mentioning the frames per second are now 72 top left Five hundred. Grass strip. So we're still showing. Uh, oh, we now dropped to forty-five frames per second. back up to 60 frames per second got some traffic there from ultimate traffic 2 it's a Learjet and the anniversary calls still showing 60 frames per second showing 58 frames per second yep still on 65 frames per second so that's an increase for me from uh, 2025 right the way up to an unbelievable 60 but the main thing is not the frame counter but the smoothness and uh, I can't detect any any jerks or judders? Um, don't know how Shadow Player will record this. That's new also with the new drivers, new version of um, GeForce Experience Shadow Play as well as the, the new NVIDIA driver. So let's take a peek at the uh, in-game or in-sim. It's not a game. In-sim settings. So settings for graphics. As you can see, it's a custom profile. I've got resolution at my monitor which is 2560 1440 at 32. Autofill main view blackout desktop is not ticked because I use two monitors. FXAA on, MSAA 8 samples, Anisotropic 16, texture resolution ultra maximum. VSync is off, also hence no triple buffering. Target frame rate unlimited. Hardware tessellation, yep, that's on. Wide view aspect ratio and mitmap VC panels with no transparency. Scenery, LOD, medium. Tessellation, ultra. That smooths out the tops of the mountains, removes the jaggies from the landscape. Mesh resolution, 5. Texture resolution 30. That could go down to 15, uh, but the uh, that's the recommended orbit setting. I'll leave it at 30. It doesn't seem to make any difference at all. Scenery objects very dense. Autogen vegetation normal. Autogen building density is sparse because I just don't like the autogen buildings. Water medium. Reflections only on the user vehicle special effects high distance high lighting HDR ticked brightness 0.95 bloom 0.5 saturation 0.95 landing lights illuminate ground no lens flare shadow quality ultra enable terrain to receive shadows ticked Cast distance 20,000 meters, quite a lot, could go less. Cloud shadow cast distance again 20,000 meters, which is I think is a lot, that yeah, could go less, but nevertheless, that's what I've got the settings on for 60 frames per second. Object shadow cast distance is 3,000 meters. Now then, object type 
internal vehicle cast and receive not on the external vehicle because it's just drawing extra pixels to cast shadows on your external vehicle if you want that on okay I, I suppose it wouldn't make too much of a difference but I'm showing you what my settings are for 60 frames per second everything else is clear weather cloud draw distance is minimum 60 miles don't see the point in drawing clouds up to 150 miles or, or you, you can't see them anyway 60 miles cloud coverage density medium volumetric fog is ticked detailed clouds is ticked because we're using rec soft clouds and texture direct thermal visualization is natural which gives you birds traffic it's ultimate traffic 2 I'm using so this really has no relevance for Ultimate Traffic 2. UT2 sets its own levels. But it's left at what I had it set before. I installed Ultimate Traffic 2 in P3D. Oh, by the way, um, Avsim, Poppit is the person you want to speak to. Elaine's done the complete guide to installing Ultimate Traffic 2 in P3D and it's worth having a look. It works perfectly. Land and sea, road vehicles is 5, ships and ferries off, leisure boats is off. Uh, simulation, well, just general as you can see, I've got the, all the information text on because I want that to work with the Majestic Dash 8. Sound, well, pretty self explanatory, pretty low. Realism, everything maxed, that's what we want. Maximum realism in a simulator. And that's pretty much it. Back to the sim. Top left, you can see we've still got 69, 70 frames per second. At Innsbruck, which is the old Innsbruck, standard Innsbruck from Orbix. Uh, orbits global and vector we've got some aircraft in the uh, in the gate ramps over there on on the ramp just take a look we've got four ultimate traffic 2 aircraft we've got a Condor Airbus I don't know what a cargo jet is doing there from Canada, but uh, it looks very nice, very pretty. A louder air, which is very appropriate for Innsbruck. A louder air, 737. And an Air France Airbus 318. So the only oddball there is the cargo jet. But we'll, we'll let it off because I've actually put the 727 to show up at Innsbruck because I happen to uh, be a fond member of the 727 club so we had to have the 727 the only one ultimate traffic 2 provides without fiddling about with uh, with extra templates is the cargo jet but never mind it, it it looks nice so there you have it we're still on 70 frames per second 65 70 frames per second so that's it um, and now we'll uh, take a look at the uh, PMDG 737, a landing here with uh, exactly the same settings. Enjoy.
terrain. Pull up. Roger. Caution. Terrain. Positive rate. Roger, selecting speed, 1, 3, 5. Speed into it. Selected, speed. Got set. Six speed, four, five. Selecting speed, 1, 4, 5. Is set to on zero nine decimal seven. Selected localizer alive. Visual approach, Roger. Louder air. Two, three, one. Would you please confirm auto throttle off? Yes. Affirmative. Right, auto throttle. Deactivate. Company procedures apply here. You leave the auto throttle on at 27 feet of ground level. Thrust will reduce to idle and then weight on wheels. The auto throttle will disconnect. It will test out my right hand Five skills hundred. here. 500 feet. Throttle manual. 400. 300. Sync rate. Minimums. Landing. Landing. Confirmed. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Speed brake up. Reverse. Thrust deployed. Brakes active. 70 knots out of, out of reverse. Roger, thrust idle. Captain ready for clean up flow. Captain, clean up flow. Out of air. Clean Two, up, Roger. Three, one, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our final destination. Contact ground. One, 
Please remain zero seated with the seatbelt securely fastened until the aircraft has reached its parking Ground. position Hold. and the seatbelt sign has been zero. switched off. Decimal. Please One. continue to observe the non-smoking sign. On behalf of our airline, we would like to say goodbye to you now. It was a pleasure having you as our guest. And we look forward to welcome you on one of our aircraft. AP uses again. start switch Thank available now. Minimums. Speed brake up. Reverse. Thrust deployed. Brakes active. 70 knots. 